Alaska is a land of superlatives. The biggest this, the richest that. It's the largest state of the Union's 50. The superlative important to this series, the USA's largest national park, Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve. Located here along Alaska's Canadian border, it joins on the Canadian side, Kluwani Provincial Park, which is also connected to the Tatchenshini Provincial Park, making this one of the largest preserved pieces of wilderness in the world. Over and the Wrangell St. Elias superlatives just keep on coming. The Bagley Ice Field is 127 miles long, six miles wide, up to 3,000 feet thick. It's the largest subpolar ice field in the most part, the rail bed for the Copper River Northwestern Railroad, built to haul copper from the Kennecott Mine, 65 miles east. The Copper Mine, part of the Wrangell St. Elias National Park and Preserve, is in the process of restoration and one of the rewards for making a trek on the McCarthy Road. During More on that, run, this is a terrific cultural experience, watching Alaskans fishing for salmon the traditional way with long, often homemade dip nets. is located on a floating dock anchored in the river. The current turns the wheel, then fish are caught in the rotating basket and dropped into a tank. This is an important wild fishery and is diligently managed for sustainability by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. At the end of the McCarthy Road, a footbridge across the Kennecott River, built in 1997. Before that, a self-pulled hand trolley was the only way over the raging Kennecott this is an excellent way to learn about the mine and the town's history. One interesting note, perhaps you noticed, the mine was named for Kennecott Glacier, which is spelled with an I. But the Kennecott Mill and Town are spelled with an E. The Glacier Trail is popular, and it's very tempting to walk out on the glacier without the proper equipment. Many, of course, do venture out onto the ice, but the only safe way to hike on the glacier is with one of the guide services or to be properly equipped and trained for glacier hiking. My favorite way to describe the sort of indescribable, um, the National Park Service, when they have their brochures, the first time I saw a brochure for this park, they said, more superlatives than any other national park. And I thought that was kind of... In addition to the grocery store and hotel, Neil and his partner own the new Golden Saloon, a gift shop, and the McCarthy Lodge restaurant which is very likely one of the most remote fine dining establishments in Alaska. This was one of exploration, discovery, technical innovation, a testament to the resilience and ability of men, women, and even their children to conquer the challenges of mining in a remote and sometimes hostile wilderness environment.